guys! In today's video, we're gonna see the different features of two of the best book reading apps so that you can have an idea before choosing any one of them. If you're getting value out of this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. It really makes a huge difference. And now let's get into it. So the first app, eReader Procedure. Let's see the app settings. So you can mark some books as your favorites. You can group them uh, in catalogs. Um, you can save by clicking here. You select the file format, for example, EPUB. I've chosen, I've already chosen EPUB and Mobi. Okay, let's just stick to EPUB. And we're done. Okay. These are my books. For example, let's select one, for example, The Great Alone by Chris and Hannah. And now let's go and see uh, the different settings that we have. Okay, you click in the center, and as you can see, you when you click here, it will take you to uh, the table of contents, for example, chapter four. Click in the center again. Uh, these are my notes. For example, I can take, select this word and add a note. Select a color and write whatever I want. And done. Okay, so that's a note. What else? Uh, you can translate a word, but for that you need to install a translating app uh, what else you can listen to pronunciation by using text-to-speech engine it won't stop you have to stop it uh, okay shut up and uh, you have some settings in here as well the rate uh, the speech rate the pitch and languages Dictionary, a highlighting color, you can change it as well. Okay, what else? Didn't I sh say shut up? Shut up. Okay. <laughs> what else? Settings. You can change the text size, the margin, uh, you have night mode, sepia mode, uh, advanced settings as well. Um, sorry. So uh, you can change uh, the margins, uh, the animation speed, scrolling effect. You have uh, font settings, uh, colors, different colors that you can use. Navigation bar settings, uh, and if you uh, don't understand a word, you can click here. It will take you either to a link, for example, Wikipedia, Free Dictionary, or Dictionary.com, or a few other options. If you have an installed a uh, dictionary, okay. For example, I've got one, which is called English. And you'll have the meaning right away. Okay. Let's go back. Overall, it's a very good app since it is free. And let's go to the next app. Now, the second app, uh, which is Read Era. Let's open it. So as you can see, these are my books. Let's go to the uh, menu. So you have all your books and documents in here. Uh, your favorites, your to read category, have read category, and you can classify them by author, series. They will automatically be classified um, according to authors, as you can see. 
uh, series, collections, if you've put them into collections, um, the different formats that you have, EPUB, PDF, MOBI, uh, and here you can have your downloads and if you want to delete one of them the, uh, it will be put into this folder trash folder uh, you have settings let's see so file scanning if you want to file scan your phone um, automatically at the start you can uh, click here uh, scan scope so if you want to specify in downloads and selected folders etc so other settings if you uh, want to disable txt files let's go back reading uh, full screen mode if you want to activate it brightness you can change brightness day night by touch multi document mode a screen on so all these are um, different uh, features that you can use okay let's go back to my sorry to my books let's choose a book for example this one okay so Um, in order to get to the menu, just tap in the middle, okay? So in here, uh, if you click here, you will have the uh, book reader uh, uh, without ads, premium. Uh, and here, if you want to look for a word in the text, um, the table of contents is in here. Um, you'll find also uh, all the bookmarks that you've uh, you've done and all the quotes that you've selected in this app you can enjoy this feature taking quotes unlike the previous app okay so uh, settings so you can uh, change the page flipping color mode a uh, font face font size line spacing uh, you have also general settings these are the same as we've seen previously um, you can uh, have your review okay uh, if you want to share your file or add to um, your favorites or whichever category that you want um, go to premium and you have kids mode so what is kids mode kids mode is locked or as you can see okay they cannot change uh, any parameter okay so if you want to uh, go back to uh, okay you click here disable kids mode and you'll have to answer the question 25 okay you can change this parameter in the settings let's go back sorry here general settings let's see kids mode where is it in the parental control so you can activate it in here you can uh, change the passcode, you can have multiplication table as I've done previously, or your own passcode or disable it. Okay, let's go back. Let's try to highlight a word or something. So you can take, select a part of the text, you can quote it and later on you will find it in the quote section or copy it, translate, note here, or web search or customize let's try customize primary you have advanced as you can see translator if you want uh, to select any translator you can add your app in here my available apps so I've got um, what is it OK, 
Okay. Dictionary. Sorry, that's not. <laughs> I made a mistake. That's as for uh, that's the dictionary. Okay, you can uh, select whatever link you want. If you uh, if you use uh, the web search and go back later on, you'll select the word and automatically it will give you the beginning of that word. So let's try it. You can go to dictionary. It's already activated. And here we are. Okay. Uh, if you want to quote, copy, dictionary, translate. Same feature as the uh, previous app. More. The same as we have seen. And that's it for this app. That's it for now. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.